What's up YouTube? This is your boy Chris out in the Caliente garage. In this video, I'm going to be waxing the Honda Going GL1800. I'm going to be using Auto Pro Shine. I'm going to be using the liquid Canuba wax as well as the high gloss wax and some vinyl and leather cleaner that I picked up. The seller name is Bill Hines and I will put his information down in the description below. His website is www.autoproshine.com. So in this video, I'm just going to be getting the bike ready. Uh, we're going to wax it up, try to make it look real good. I know some of you out there are going to tell me the products that you use to clean your bike. But this is about the products that I use. So let's get started. shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. I'm gonna apply the Auto Pro Shine Liquid Canuba Wax, but first I need to activate it. If you look at it, you notice that you have two parts, you gotta shake it up to get it activated. So let's shake it up real good. Just gonna put a small amount on my applicator pad. Just kinda get it soaked in there. And I just wanna put a nice thin coat on the trailer. You don't want to apply it too thick. You want to spread it even. I have applied the wax to the trailer. It's been sitting just a couple of minutes. I just wanted to get it on there. It's best to wax in sections. You want to make sure that the vehicle or the motorcycle is good and clean before you apply the wax. You also want to take it off with a good microfiber towel. Now, I also have a couple of different orbiters that I use when I wax my, my gold wing. This is a small orbiter for getting in the tight places. Of course, I have my large orbiter, which makes the job a lot quicker. So it just depends on the way you want to do it, but just make sure that the motorcycle is good and clean before you wax it. You want to use a good microfiber towel or a good microfiber orbiter to remove the uh, wax. Want to get a good shine. So next I'm going to take my microfiber towel so I can get in the nooks and crannies or any spots that I may have missed.
And that's the thing about doing a wax job. People don't like to wax, but if you want to protect the paint, you got to put a good coat of wax on your vehicles, on your cars, on your bikes, on your trailers. This is how I keep my trailer and my motorcycle looking so good. You got to put a good coat of wax on it because ultraviolet sunlight or the ultraviolet rays will damage paint. So you have to put a good wax to protect it. And I just want to just wipe it. And that's the thing I like about the Auto Pro Shine. The Auto Pro Shine is easy to remove. And you want to take the, the wax off in a cool place, preferably under a shade tree, in a garage, or somewhere where it's cool. I've applied the Auto Pro Shine Liquid Canuba Wax. It only took about 10 minutes, five minutes to put it on, five minutes to take it off. And next we're gonna apply the Auto Pro Shine High Gloss Car Wax. And I wanna apply it to the same applicator pad. Just gonna spread it around, kinda thin it out a little bit. So now I can go ahead and just rub in the high gloss wax. A lot of people hate to wax because it seems like a tedious job. But if you wax it in a cool place where it's not so hot, like under a shade tree, and you don't want to let the wax stay on too long. You just want to get it on there and you want to take it off. You want to let it dry just a little bit. You don't want it to get hard like the old turtle wax that we used to use back in the day to where we put it on and drive around in our cars and let the turtle wax get hard with this new wax you don't have to do that okay I let the wax sit about five minutes and it dried to a haze you want to put it on thin and not too thick so now it's time to go ahead and take it off I'm gonna use my orbiter we're just gonna And now I could take my microfiber towel and just go over the trailer to get all the nooks and crannies that I missed with the orbiter. You want to rub it until you get a nice lustrous shine. Look at that candy apple. And this will help protect your gold wing from the ultraviolet rays of the sun, your cars, your trailers. That's the thing I like about the Pro Shine is that you can use it on motorcycles, boats, RVs, enclosed trailer, anything that's painted. You can actually uh, use the wax to protect the paint and it makes it look good as well. Uh, one of the things that I like to do with my gold wing is I want to clean the windshield. I have the F4 custom windshield, and so it is recommended to use the F4 custom windshield cleaner. And let me tell you, this is some good stuff. So if you guys have an F4 custom windshield, you want to clean it with the F4 custom windshield cleaner. I have some F4 that I keep in a spray bottle. And I'm going to take a clean microfiber towel, and I want to clean the F4 windshield and it's going to be 
nice and clear. If you guys watch my videos, you notice that my windshield is always clean, it's always clear. That's because I always apply the F4 custom windshield cleaner. I get a lot of kickback from different riders because when we pull up at a gas station and make a fuel stop, I have a tendency to clean my windshield. Anytime I'm shooting a video, I don't want all those bugs and things like that on the windshield. I know some guys, they, uh, they don't like to clean their windshield. Their windshields are nasty, it's full of bugs and road grime. And to each is on, but I like to have a clear windshield. When you guys watch my videos, I want it to be nice and clear to give you guys. I want you guys to feel like you're riding the bike with me. So I want to make sure my windshield is nice and clean. And I just cleaned it with the F4 custom windshield cleaner. Now, this part is not recommended by F4. This is what I normally do. The same wax that I use to wax my bike. I actually wax the windshield and it actually makes the water repel and it makes it easier to see through it when it's a lot of rain. The F4 custom windshield cleaner is good, it's great, it's uh, Caliente approved, but I have a tendency to wax my windshield. So you guys, if you wax your windshield, do it at your own risk. It is not recommended that you wax your windshield, but this is just what I do. I got my wax on the applicator. And I just want to rub it into the windshield. Somebody's going to say they don't wax their windshield because they don't want to discolor it. I'm not telling you to wax your windshield. I'm just showing you what I do. You do what's best for you and I'll do what's best for me. But for me, I wax my windshield. And when you wax it, since this is plastic, you don't want to wax it in the sun. You want to make sure you wax it in a cool, dry place and just let that sit for a minute. And when it dry to a haze, it'll come right off. My trusted microfiber towel, and it comes right off. Again, I know I'm gonna get some kickback. Somebody's gonna say that they do not believe in waxing their windshield. Well, this is not what you do, this is what I do. The windshield will be so slick, if a bug land on it, he'll slip off and break his neck. Okay, so let's apply the uh, liquid Canuba wax to the gold wing. Just want to shake it up a little bit. And I just want to put a small amount in the wax pad in the applicator. And now we can apply it to the gold wing. A nice, even, thin coat. Try not to put too much. You don't want it to get down in the cracks. It's a nice, even, thin coat of wax. I generally prefer to wax uh, one section at a time, depending on how fast it dries. It's a tedious job, but in the end, it protects your paint. It makes your bike look brand new, and it just protects the paint from the ultraviolet rays. Those ultraviolet rays are hard on paint. I even put a little wax on my, the front of the headlights. Just a light, a light coat. And again, I like to do one section at a time, do half the bike and come back around and do the other half. I just wanna add some to the front fender. A little wax goes a long way, so don't put too much. It'll take longer to dry. So you want to put a nice thin coat. And now that I have applied the liquid Canuba wax, I'm just going to take it off by hand. I'm not going to use my orbiter to remove the wax. I'm going to do it by hand. It's not a lot of room to work on the go wing. The orbiter is kind of big. I could use my smaller orbiter, but on the go wing, I just like to just I prefer to do it by hand. Look at that shine.
And depending on your application, you may need to put a second coat of the uh, liquid canuba wax. Since I keep my bike waxed pretty regularly, I'm only going to use one coat of the liquid canuba wax and one coat of the high gloss shine. Just rub it. It comes off real easy. You can wax chrome, aluminum, you can even wax plastic. I even put wax on the front of the headlights. People often ask me, how do I keep my bike looking so new? Because you got to keep it clean. You got to add wax, put a good protectant on there. I'm sure I'm going to get some comments about what products that other bikers use. Some is going to say they use the Honda polish and some are going to say they use uh, different types of brands. Some may say Meguiar's. But at the end of the day, you use what's best for you and I'm using what's best for me. But I love the Auto Pro Shine. Okay, I've applied the Auto Pro Shine Liquid Canuba Wax. If you really want it to shine for a second coat, go ahead and apply the Auto Pro Shine High Gloss Wax like I did on the trailer. Next, I'm gonna be applying the Vinyl and Leather Conditioner. Okay, I'm shaking up the Vinyl Leather Conditioner. And it's best to put it on with the sponge. I just wanna saturate my sponge. It doesn't really take that much. But I just want to get my sponge saturated. And now I can go ahead and apply the vinyl and leather conditioner to the seats and to the vinyl. You can also apply it with the microfiber towel as well. And I just come back and rub it in with the microfiber. And I can also apply some vinyl and leather cleaner to the trim pieces as well. Give it a nice shine. And I want to give the bike a, just a good once over, just really uh, a good once over where I knock off any excess wax that I may have missed. I'm going to wipe it down real good. Let's give it that final buff. All the chrome piece, all the plastic. Just basically want to give it a final wipe down. Just want to wipe it. Okay, this is going to wrap up the uh, waxing of the Honda Goldwing GL1800 in my trailer. The first application was the Auto Pro Shine Liquid Canuba Wax. The second application was the High Gloss Car Wax. And I came back and put vinyl and leather conditioner on the seats and all of the plastic uh, trim pieces for extra protection. If you guys have any questions about where to purchase the Auto Pro Shine, you can go to www.autoproshine.com. The seller name is Bill Hines, and I will also put his information down in the description below. Bill Hines will also be at Wingding 41. So if you guys get a chance, go over to Bill Hines and just let them know that you saw my video and you would like to get some of his Auto Pro Shine products. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love the way the wax job came out on the Honda Going GL1800. 
I know a lot of you are going to say what products you use to clean and shine your bike. I'm just showing you the products that I use and that I recommend for my Honda Goldwing. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, put it down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. This is your boy Chris out in the Caliente Garage and I've just applied the Auto Pro Shine waxing products and that's what I use to keep my Honda Goldwing looking brand new and I love the way it turned out and I will as always I will talk to you guys later see you shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs.